In today's video, we're taking a look at how to replace or install a sliding door complete kit of latch, lock, and handles. This is so easy, anyone could do it. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot, thank you. So you woke up today and try to open or close your patio sliding door and you're doing the regular movements your body does, but the door is not budging. It doesn't want to let you go in or out. Don't worry, here at the Statterbox team, we've got your back. So the first thing that we're gonna need is a sliding door and hopefully yours. But if you wanna work on your neighbor one that's okay too the second thing that we're gonna need is the sliding door kit and this particular kit is a complete kit it has the inside and outside handles as the latch and lock mechanism with included locking tab we have installation screws that come in different sizes depending on your sliding door thickness and we have the latch screws and the last thing that comes in the box is barbecue paper I mean the owner's manual and one thing that's optional but to us a lifesaver is a magnet because as you would see in the installation, the latch going inside the sliding door can happen. And when that happens, it could go from a good day to a bad day. Now that we went over inventory, we're ready to start the installation. The first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna place our magnet a few inches under the handle. Either in the interior or the exterior is fine. And now like any great DIYer, we're gonna start the disassembling process. We're gonna start with the two screws that hold the handle and one thing we want to do at the same time, meanwhile we remove the screws, we want to hold both the interior and exterior handles at the same time. Because once you remove the screws, they are falling. And to prevent any future damage or less body pretzel bending, it's a good idea. Now that we showed what your magic hands can do, we can remove the first handle. Then we remove the locking tab. And then we can finish by removing the exterior handle. But in the order that you want to remove these parts is up to you. Remember, you are the king, queen, both or none of your castle. And now we're ready to remove the latch. We have two screws, one at the top and one at the bottom. We're first going to remove the top screw and this is where the magnet comes in play. We're going to use some pliers to hold the latch. Meanwhile, we unscrew the bottom one because the last thing you want is for that latch to go in the hole and drop to the bottom. And on many years of experience, we can say firsthand that this does happen. So having the magnet as a precaution is a good idea. If your latch hook is not outside, you wanna use your locking tab to get it out. If you're unable to do that, you can always use a flathead screwdriver to pull it out. And you've done it, grasshopper. You manage to save that latch from going to the downside. But now comes the point in the video where you show the world what your magic hands could do. Because when we push in the hatch in the hole, it's easier for the latch to drop. If the hook is not out, we want to take the tab, insert it in the tab hole and twist to get the hook out. And then using the same technique with a plier, we want to hold the hook using the death grip that for no reason in the world, we're going to let go unless we're done and insert the latch in the hole. Meanwhile, with our other hand we hold a screw and a screwdriver and insert the screw to victory and remember the sides of the door may be plastic so not over tightening is a good idea you've done it grasshopper you can take a break now and get yourself a ice cold bubbly liquid gold bottle of water we can now proceed to let go of the death grip and we're ready to install the top screw we go ahead and align the locking tab on the hole in the inside and insert it now depending on your particular sliding door and thickness is the screw that you're going to choose so measuring with the side of the door would give you the length of the screw that you might need now that we have the correct screw we can go ahead and place the handle and remembering the longer, bigger, oval shaped handle goes usually in the interior. We go ahead and insert the screws and in some cases having a helper here to hold onto the screws like a Deer Watson so as you put the outer handle the screws don't come out. Another technique that you can use using a magnetic screwdriver can help you hold on to the screws as you place the other handle. We're going to take our exterior handle and we're going to center the middle holes of the screws with the screws. As 
as we hold both handles, we start using the ping pong method of screwing one screw a little bit in and then the other one until the screw grabs the handle. And then from there, take it home. And don't forget the ancient rule of lefty loosey, righty tighty. And just like before, remember, you never want to over tighten. This can lead to stripped screws and also to sliding door cracking. And now you've done it. You become a master of the patio sliding door world where victory has been conquered by your magic hand. You have showed the world that you can hold more than one things at one time, that your death grip is legendary, and that one more time you have inserted yourself in the conversation of the greatest of all time. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone on the Statterbox team or someone on the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.